Alan Curtis Kay was born in Springfield, Massachusetts on May 17, 1940. His father was a designer of prosthetics and his mother a musician. Kay grew up in a, surrounded by art, literature, and science. He was a fast learner and an avid reader. In the 1960s, Kay joined the Air Force where he discovered computers. He became a programmer for the Air Force. This experience taught Kay about program design with procedures and data abstraction. He later went to the University of Utah for graduate school, where he studied electrical engineering. There, he worked with Ivan Sutherland, who had done pioneering graphics programs including Sketchpad. This greatly inspired Kay's evolving views on objects and programming. In 1969, he received his PhD in computer science. Kay was one of the graduate students involved in the Defense Department's ARPANET program, which later became the Internet. Kay also worked on the design of small computers for engineers, called Flex, with Edward Cheadle. Flex featured graphics and windows, and together they coined the term personal computer. While working on Flex, Kay saw a lecture by Douglas Engelbart on interactive computing. Engelbart's vision influenced Kay to adopt GUIs, hypertext, and the mouse. Another inspiration found at Utah was the Logo programming language, which was designed to help small children learn through computers. After completing his work at Utah, Kay was hired as a researcher at Stanford's Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. There, Kay developed programming languages, but began to think about the future of computers. He thought of a book-sized computers for children and made sketches of what he dubbed Kitty Computers. In 1971, Kay joined Xerox PARC Learning Research Group, which examined potential uses of small computers, especially in the use of small children. Kay is famous for proclaiming, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. At Xerox PARC, he devised the DynaBook, a portable computer the size of a notebook with a touchscreen and keyboard. This was the precursor to all laptops, tablets, and notebooks computers. Kay needed a way to interact with this new computer medium and wanted it to be kid-friendly. Smalltalk began as a graphical programming language, but grew to become a complete programming environment. Smalltalk was the first dynamic object-oriented programming language. Here's a clip from a demonstration by Kay of the Smalltalk environment. A 15-year-old boy, again after a few months of programming in Smalltalk 72, uh, he was interested in ham radio, but really uh, had gotten bored with the tedium of drawing radio diagrams, so he decided to make himself a ham radio illustrator. It has some quite sophisticated features. You see here a pop-up menu. In the early 2000s, he founded Viewpoints Research Institute, a nonprofit dedicated to supporting educational media for children. Kay, now 73, continues his work with children and computers. 